everybody! In today's video, I'll be showing you how to turn this regular glitter tape into these fun borders for your Erin Condren Life Planner. For today's project, what you're going to need is a 5 8 inch or 1 and a half centimeters glitter tape like this one here, a pair of scissors, and a pair of decorative craft scissors like this one here. I'm using a zigzag pattern today, but of course you can use any other pattern you want. You can do a different effect with like scallop scissors like this one or a wavy pattern like this one. But today we'll be using the zigzag one. So what you want to do first is take your tape and scissors and figure out how long of a tape you need. So you just want to go from edge to edge and just cut it right at the edge here. I like to give myself just a little bit extra to give myself some wiggle room for error. Alright, so now that you have a piece of tape like this, you take the backing completely off. Just peel it right off like this. And then you want to take your pattern craft scissors, this, and what I do is align it up to the metal edge here. Line it light up right up there and then tape it down onto the scissors. And you actually want to push this down really good to give it a nice clean cut. So now that it's taped on, you just cut down on it, open it up, carefully peel it off, and as you can see, it gives it that zigzag pattern, and you continue cutting it through. Now, the second cut, you want to make sure that you line up the zigzags onto your scissors, like that. And then again, you want to line up the edge to the edge of the scissor and push down firmly to give it a clean cut. Now be careful on this part. If you try to cut it down here, this little edge here is going to actually cut off a little snippet of your tape. So what you want to do is peel this back like this to avoid it from, avoid the scissors from cutting into your tape and you just cut down like this. And you just repeat it all the way down. And once you finish one side, you do the exact same thing on the other side. So once you cut that through, you'll cut this side exact same way. And once you do that, you'll end up with three sheets of tape. You'll have two pieces with a straight edge like this and like this. And you'll have one piece in the middle that gives you this fun zigzag pattern right here. So I like to use this between the boxes and the lines here. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you!